talking today about another Suzuki that I've really found to be a superb instrument when air tightened and uh, you know customized is the uh, Suzuki Sirius S-48B for bass. This is a monster harp. Look how look how big those covers are. And this one's been fitted with a Kettlewell uh, frictionless mouthpiece, a single hole model, which provides easy movement to new note hole positions and a relaxed embouchure. It also has the ergo button, which is more comfortable. But this harp is, is really fascinating in its sound. And, you know, you might say, well, why would you want one of those? Well, what I love about it is that it, it provides a whole new tone color and a whole new pitch grouping to work with. It's like having your own cello. And, you know, it's an interesting thing that uh, when chromatic harmonica players go to play a solo on a classical piece or, or whatever, oftentimes they'll go one octave higher than it was written by the composer just so it's brighter. But you can go the other way around and go like an octave lower with this bass one. Uh, just so you know, the, the true um, uh, range of a uh, 16 holer is C3 to D7. Okay, that, that's not what you're going to see on their website. They're wrong on, on everything that they post about their range. But the true range of a 16 holer is C3 to D7. Uh, but the bass goes C1 to D4. And it's not what you're going to see on their website, but that is the true range. And uh, I think they got a little mixed up when they were doing that. But anyway, so you can see you've got, you know, you've got uh, from C1 to C3, that's two octaves uh, to the left of, uh, of a 16 holer. You know, isn't that hilarious? But anyway, we're going to do Ave Maria, and I'm just going to have fun playing in a little bit lower, uh, you know, a little lower range on this one. Isn't that hilarious? 
Um, just for fun, I'm going to do the, just a little bit uh, in the range that I might do it on a 16, just to compare it. It would actually be written here, but I'll take it up too, after a little bit. Let's see four there. is it it gives us a chance to play in lower notes and to play in a different style maybe even this was melody but you could just kind of be an accompanist like a bass or something and so again I feel that this harp is just a, a marvelous uh, addition to the group now the customizations a harp has to be airtight so that it responds immediately to breath, and to do that, I stone sand the top of the comb, and then I lap the mouthpiece into the comb, making the space for the slide perfect, and it, there's no air loss, and then, of course, the comfortable button, and uh, I do play with the slider. Um, but, uh, you know, Suzuki has a lot of very cool harps. My principal harp right now, thanks to David Dybel, is a Suzuki Fabulous. I never thought I'd be playing a Suzuki as my standard harp, but I am. It's so even over all of the registers. <laughs> Very, very even. Kind of reminds me of a conservatory Yamaha. Not a Bosendorf or a Steinway. More of that evenness of the Yamaha conservatory series pianos. Um, but uh, again, another super harp from uh, Suzuki. These harps are available from David Dybel worldwide by Custom Harps. You can see them at mastersofharmonica.com. And Dave is a priest. So anyhow, cool. I hope you enjoyed it.